Hi everyone, so today we're gonna talk about soft natural autumn style laws. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kiwi Body Types playlist, I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you haven't seen my previous video, Summer Style Laws, you probably wanna watch it because there I'm talking about this basic layer. Today we're gonna talk more about layering. What is the biggest problem for soft naturals in autumn? Sometimes they might feel too bulky because when they layer a lot of stuff, especially lately, there's a sport style that is very popular and people are buying those soft sports suits, knitted suits, hoodie and sweatpants, for example. And sometimes they can look slightly bulky. Unless you buy something quite delicate and quite narrow for your body, then it can look very cozy and very sweet. But today I'm not gonna talk about sports clothes because it's more or less same looking on everyone. It's created already in a bulky, rounded, slightly slouchy shape. And here, of course, it depends more on colors and the fabric itself. If we talk about best silhouette for you is geometric shapes with rounded edges. Whatever silhouette you're creating, this is the best outline for you. You might not look as good in something too sharp, too geometric, for example, too severe tailored, yeah? Or something too wide, too unconstructed, especially around the waist area, because we still have some curves here. Mix and match approach works nice on you. You don't have to have everything matching head to toe. If you keep your shape narrower, it's still gonna be a little bit more elegant on you. And narrow, I don't mean very sleek and stretched around your body, but just having one, two centimeters between your skin and the garment, just make it lie on your body beautifully. That's gonna create the best effect for you personally because it will elongate you, it will give you some elegance, but at the same time it will not make you look more angular. If we talk about sweaters, for soft naturals all the sweaters that you can imagine work amazing. Maybe not something too rough, too heavy and too standing straight around the waist and, and long. That can give you bulky feel, stocky feel, we don't need this. So something a little bit softer around your body it can be slightly longer, it can be slightly shorter, it can be fluffy or it can be just regular knit. Prints and different patterns on your knits also look very fresh on you. If we talk about cardigans, you can look in many different kinds of cardigans, from short ones to long ones. We should see some narrowness around your waist, loosely accentuated. So if you have your cardigan opened and straight and slightly elongated, then preferably we would see your waist here underneath. Maybe it's a dress or it's top and the bottom tucked in. So if we see that waist, then this cardigan looks a little bit more curve hugging. Now you can also wear cardigans with belt that would look stunning on you, especially cardigans that look slightly like a blanket, but they don't have to be very wide and very slouchy looking. Still closer to your body looks stunning. Also, there are wrap cardigans can look quite nice on you. You can try them. There are just two things that might not look as good on you as something too small and flouncy, too little girlish. They can look just too small for you and you might feel like you are more meaty, more heavy looking or something too severe and long that will drag you down to the ground. They will make you look slightly heavier. Now, if we talk about jackets, jackets are best when they are mid-length or elongated and it's good if it shows a little bit of waist and not too severe looking. If you still have a blazer that is quite wide with wide shoulders, very straight, long, goes down to your hips, then probably wear it open and let us see your waist here underneath again. That will soften the geometry of the jacket. Sometimes they are shaped around the waist slightly, so that is your version. What we don't want is something very sharp and tailored, just not for your bone structure. You might feel like your bones look more square, because you are still not sharp in bones, you are more squarish in bones, so that will create that contrast. Also, what might not look good on you is something tiny, like tiny jackets, cropped jackets, whether with small peplum or small ruffles, or something quite small, you know, like that was very popular in the in 2000s, going to the office in this kind of small jacket so when you're trying to close the button it kind of you have to stretch it a little bit so under your boobs it creates those drapes even if you're going for that type of a blazer just choose one size up in this case it's okay if it's gonna be slightly bigger it won't make you bigger on contrary you as a contrast will look more delicate especially if the rest of your outfit is more delicate and remember that you can rock any piece of your wardrobe it's not about the piece too much it's more about how you combine your outfit and if you feel like there's too much 
geometry in your look, you can always soften it with something else. Because if you're wearing a long dress, quite soft dress with some waist emphasis underneath the tailored blazer, this geometry of the blazer again will be softened by the dress. And this is why I'm showing you each thing separately. You can use this information to soften your outfit in case other pieces maybe are not aligned. Coats, any coat, with waist, no waist, cropped, short, long, anything would work. Maybe not very cropped and boxy up to your waist. You want something a little bit longer, probably to your hip bones at least. And with belt is a little bit better, of course, and not too severe here. If you have fitted shoulders, that's okay. If they're less sharp, it's a bit better for you, and their dropped shoulders normally look great for you. And all those kinds of coats, cashmere coats, wool coats that are made slightly like a blanket, still narrow though, and you kind of wrap it around your body and then have this belt, looks stunning on you, very, very cozy and very much for your body. You can go for different textures and even some prints if you want. Basically, I would say no to just one type of a coat for you that would be very, very long, very straight, very severe, in texture and very tailored. Probably that is not for you because you need movement, you need hugging your curves a little bit, you need something soft going around your body, not something standing against it. Leather jackets can look great on you because leather has a certain texture and looks very cool if you combine it with other textured materials on yourself like t-shirt or jeans for example or silky dress or chiffon dress that contrast of textures looks great on you for some women who are quite curvy and who have some extra flesh on them they might feel like it's too severe for them so they would want to go for something softer whether get it in brown leather or get it in leather that is a little bit more soft looking not as severe maybe not as shiny even maybe a bit matte leather would look better because it would look slightly softer. You can also go for different kinds of blazers and elongated blazers made with leather. Better though if the leather is slightly matte, not super glossy and shiny. Remember 70s? That was very popular in the 70s. I doubt that they're gonna go out of style. To me that is a little bit more classic piece already. If we talk about shoes, anything that you prefer, chunky or more delicate, doesn't matter. Even if you go for delicate shoes, make sure you open your ankle. It's very rare when somebody looks great with wide ankle boots and it's very obvious why it's just closing your ankle and your ankles is a very delicate and very beautiful part of our body and this is what we want we want elegance and delicate legs that can kill any elegance for everyone so you probably want to avoid that but the rest is for you you can go for tall boots or shorter boots with small heel with big heel with platform without any platform whatever you prefer and also sneakers of course also you can throw on some scarf any length any texture it can be silk scarf with different kinds of prints it can be long scarf it can be animal print whatever you prefer it can be huge like a blanket so you play with it as you want if we talk about hats and puffers I have a separate video about winter style laws it's all the body types in one video I did it last year but those laws will work many years from now I'm mostly talking about silhouettes and like the biggest don'ts for you like what different kinds of silhouettes do for your body and that's all I'm gonna leave the link on this video down below and also all the beautiful pieces that I found for you, I leave the links down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.